This is so much fun. Again. That is really cool. Well done, Bittle. Welcome to LJP Tech Channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you press the bell button as well. Now I present to your host, LJP Tech. So I want to thank Pet Toy for providing me this brilliant robotic kit called Bittle, which is an open source bionic robot dog. So we all know that open source means that you can explore it, customize it as much as you want. Uh, so this robot can play tricks like a real animal and is controlled uh, uh, by an Arduino compatible board as a default. This can also be connected to Raspberry Pi and other modules through wired or wireless connections as well. So it seems like what you can do with this robot is unlimited. Fantastic. So you can explore this with STEM subjects such as like Pythons and etc. And this also has the user manual uh, which is actually linked by a QR code. I do remember seeing Bittle on the um, Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign and they have actually successfully funded more than half a million dollars. So this must be really popular um, robot indeed. So I'm very excited to do the unboxing building the robot because this is actually for assembly purpose uh, and so on. So enough said, let's do the unboxing. So here it goes. Let's open it up by using Higonokami knife. So build plus wire plus code. And look at that. That is very interesting indeed. So it comes with a very simple instruction and how to assemble it all together. And um, wow, even these uh, black and white wiring and manuals and websites and so on. Postcard, isn't it? <laughs> I like that. All the checklist to make sure you got everything under control. So that's the main skin of the robot, shall I say. Very cool indeed. Look at that. We got the um, servo motor as well. So these will be the individual um, motors that comes with it. And some extension of these um, circuit boards, isn't it? Okay. And we got the lovely uh, USB cable. This is not USB-C by the way. These are the components, legs, and I believe this is for um, synchronizing the angle of the leg. Very useful tool, by the way. And this is the Arduino-like main board. And also the um, remote control. So if you look at the remote control, there's the go to sleep. Um, I think these are directions. It's probably stand, gauge. Um, not sure about this. In line, maybe. Measurements. Um, and these are all these like um, like cartoon versions of how the um, Bittle can behave, A, B, and finally the control and so on. So compared to the robots that I built in the past, this seems pretty um, straightforward to build. I don't think it's going to take too much of my time. So let's do a bit of a time lapse of assembly. So here it goes. So you would have noticed early on, I bluntly assembled the Bitter robot in a rush. I should have really read the instruction and I just want to point out what I got it wrong in the first place. So it all looks quite settled, but once you actually connect it to your app, which you just need to turn on your Bitter first. So you basically see the blue light and the sound. 
that is on. And um, once you actually um, connected Bitto to your smartphone, you'll see exactly what I mean. So you can see that Bitto is not that stable. I mean, if I show you, for example, ask him to stand, you can see that the front um, arm is not really um, the right hand side is not working properly. It is because you have not synchronized it. So to be able to synchronize the whole thing, you got to use this L shape uh, tool that comes with as a default and make sure it's a L shaped. You just need to press on the right hand side top with three dots on it. And then you'll see the calibrate, which is the L shape. So once you press that, you can see uh, Bittle is almost perfect, only that right hand side front leg. So you can see that needs to be in an L shape based on uh, this uh, shape. So you make sure all the screws are in the order to this shape. So what you have to do, unfortunately, is to unscrew these and then take these out. So basically, you take this out and try to make it uh, as L as possible, okay? As L as possible is my... <laughs> um, personal advice. So once you've done that, then you look at the actual app itself and you need to uh, use the calibration and point out the uh, right hand side uh, leg on the top. So you can see it's actually on minus three. So um, if you check on this one, this is pretty good. I have to say it's almost in good order with all the screws and so on. So I'm happy with that. I'm not going to touch that but the, um, the actual remaining bottom bit, I also need to readjust that. So I'm going to press um, plus. You can see that that is going to um, minus two to minus one. We still haven't reached to the actual bottom. Um, I think that's pretty good actually, isn't it? So be aware though that uh, the figures that you could go plus and minus is top is the plus nine and the minimum is minus nine. So I guess a lot of people might think that these screws are not that important, but they are extremely important because they basically hold these joints together. Okay, so make sure you um, put these in the final end and then you can ha finally have fun with Bittle and so on. So for the actual run through of the app itself, we got the step speed, which starts with a step walk and trot um, and then we could actually remotely control the direction uh, front back left and right and these are the um, function keys as well so we got stand rest sit uh, stretch say hi P <laughs> that's cool uh, hip up push up uh, joy push uh, push left push right check play dead and you could also add the plus. So you could then uh, put the title of it, the code on it and the console output as well. So this is very interesting indeed. I'm sure you could download extra movements, but let's actually go through the, um, some of the functions, shall we? So to start with, let's make Bittle stand. Cool, and then rest. So that's the opposite. And then stand again. Um, let's make him sit. Look at that. Also stretch. <laughs> Just like a real dog. And then say hi. Can you say hi? <laughs> That's very cute. Now, uh, this might be my favorite P. <laughs> Just like a real dog. Do it again. P. <laughs> Shaking the leg. Okay, the hip up. Not hip hop, but hip up. Um, push up. This might be quite cool as well. Okay, so he's getting ready. Push up. So, oh, let's actually change the view for that. Let's do that again. Push up. You can see how Bittle is getting his legs ready and then doing the push up. That's really cool. Okay, so the next one is check. Look at that, just like a real dog. Very cool. 
And this might be my favorite, which is the uh, Play Dead. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> See that final moment of twitching the leg? And then Beto will be able to stand up automatically because it's pretty much, you would have noticed a self-balancing robot so that every time when I actually, um, you know, tilt it around, I don't know how it actually managed to sense it, but it's following through the balance of my hand to make sure it's um, balanced up, if you see what I mean. So that's very intelligent uh, robot uh, indeed. And the quality of the plastic itself and all the screws and the motor is fantastic. So again, for the remote control option, let's make a bit to actually go forward, backwards and so on. So go forward. Okay, that's how Bittle works. Now you can see that I deliberately put him on the cushioning so that it shows that he can stand up automatically. Okay, and then backwards. It's more cautiously moving, isn't it? So let's make um, Bittle troll, shall we? So here it goes. Okay, so if we were to speed it up. There you go. So we got a bit of a slippery wooden floor, but you can see that it works. And then let's make him go sort of backwards, shall we? So, yeah. So it's more carefully done. Let's make him turn right. While well, as you go uh, backwards, why don't we go forward and on right as well? So that's how it moves, doesn't it? And backwards. Again, and then let's make him move forward again while we turn left. Okay, so you can see that the maneuver is not that great, but it does the job and it's quite a fun thing to do. And obviously if you're not happy with him because he's in a good quality plastic, you can make him fall and he could actually get up again. So push him down again. And then he'll stand up again. This is so much fun, again. That is really cool. Well done, Bittle. So for the software and app side of um, Bittle or Pet Toy as whole, um, you can actually use the Pet Toy mobile app, which we just gone through, which was very simple and the calibration was very fun to do indeed. Very simple. But also if you want to do more professionally, you can actually download the Pet Toy uh, desktop app, which is available on the Pet Toy Dock Center, as you can see from here. And um, if you can see how complicated it is um, comparing to the uh, mobile app, but then again, it does make a lot of sense by looking at the screenshot, the way how you do the joint calibrator and the skill composer as well. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I have enough time to explore that, but I'm sure it's self-explanatory. And then there we got the Arduino IDE decoding, which is for the C or C++, which I'm sure many of you out there learn at school. And also the um, Python serial API as well, which I heard several times, but unfortunately I have no chance to do it whatsoever professionally myself. So apologies, I should have really covered that. Hopefully I'll learn the coding in the future and so on. And there's the code craft from uh, Tinkergen as well, which is one of my favorite um, because I've seen a lot of these sort of um, sort of system that is available for different robots as well. And lastly, we've got the open source project which also looks really interesting indeed. So you can see that um, Bitter is designed for professional uh, coding, education purpose, and so on. And it's a really good quality robot indeed. And I can see that this will be very useful for those uh, students or those people who are uh, out there trying to explore on the robotics side. I mean, for example, if we look at the other sort of extensions of what you can do with Bitter, if you look at the uh, official Bittle page is that you, you can use the wireless dongle and add the other bits as well. So if we scroll down, 
there's these sort of things where you can add the Raspberry Pi and the, also the camera um, dongle as well, which suddenly makes a uh, bit of very useful, um, almost like a, a vector kind of robot or any of the robots that is available out there and so on. So it's more of how you customize it with your knowledge and skills and what you have learned from school or from your college in robotics and so on. So this will be a perfect start with, with a very affordable price indeed. So I just want to thank uh, again uh, Pet Toy for providing me this brilliant robot and uh, introduce this for you. And I hope I cover the basis of it. But if you have any queries that you want me to ask directly to Pet Toy or myself with my experience with building this robot and uh, playing around with it, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.